I'd like to show you how to derive the fraction in any given form for acid-base families. Let's take a very simple acid-base family, just an HA type of acid, monoprotic acid, and we know that it has two family members, the acid and the conjugate base form. We know that in any solution we might add some of the acid or some material that gives us the conjugate base, but the sum of those two analytical concentrations is equal to some total value, I'll call it CT. That has to be also equal to the equilibrium concentrations summed. Now we can use that and some simple definitions to come up with an expression for the fraction of the acid form, and I'll call that the fraction um, in the HA form, and that's at equilibrium. In other words, it's the concentration in this particular form over the total scorecard for this family. Well, that total is just the sum of HA and the anion form. So this is the fraction we wish to calculate. Since they are, all these species are in the same solution, then the volumes are the same. So this is also a mole fraction. for this particular family, for that particular form. So let's rewrite the right-hand side. And try to remove things that we don't have a direct measure of. For example, we don't know the equilibrium concentration of HA. So let's apply a trick here and divide the numerator and the denominator by HA. So the numerator becomes 1, first term in the denominator is 1, and then we have A minus over HA. Let's see if we can make a substitution for that. Well, we notice that the definition of the equilibrium constant is actually the ratio of the activities for the products over the reactants. Let's imagine that we do this at one particular con condition so that we put all the activity coefficients together with the thermodynamic equilibrium constant as well. Therefore, we can work with just the concentrations, H plus times A minus over HA. Now, we would like the ratio of A minus over HA. Let's rearrange this. A minus over HA is just Ka prime divided by H plus. So substituting back in, we have that alpha HA is equal to 1 plus 1 plus K A over H plus. And now removing the fraction in the denominator, we multiply through by H plus and we get that our alpha value is H plus over H plus plus the Ka prime. So there's our, our equation in terms of things that we either control, such as H plus or measure, and things that we can calculate or 
look up in a table. Now, the conjugate base form also can be expressed as a fraction of the equilibrium concentration in the anion or conjugate base form over the total. So this equals the conjugate base over the sum of all the family members. Once again, let's apply a simple trick by dividing through the numerator and denominator by the anion concentration. The numerator becomes 1, the denominator becomes HA over the anion concentration plus 1. Now, very similar to before, we had the ratio of A minus over HA. We want just the reciprocal of that, so it must be the reciprocal of this term here. So we have 1 over H plus over KA prime plus 1. Rearranging to keep, remove the fraction from the denominator, we have that the alpha value or fraction in the conjugate base form is Ka prime over H plus plus Ka prime. So all we've done is multiply everything, the numerator and the denominator by Ka prime, and we come to this equation, which is similar to the one we had before. You notice that the denominator is the same for both of the alpha fractions. The term in the numerator is a term from the denominator. Here, for the acid form, it's H plus. It's the first term. For the base form, it's the Ka prime. If we have a diprotic family member, or diprotic family, then the equilibrium has two steps. So there is a Ka associated with both steps, both equilibria, and we call them Ka1 for the first step and Ka2 for the second dissociation step. Likewise, we can write an alpha for the each member of this family. I'm not going to do the algebraic der derivation here, but it follows a very simple pattern. And you, once you see it for a couple of families, you'll see that it's a very easy to remember pattern. Uh, so the denominator becomes h plus squared. It's a diprotic family, so it's h plus to the second power. The next term is Ka1 times H plus, and the third term is Ka1, Ka2. The numerator is a term from the denominator, same as before, and it goes in this order. For the H2A species, it's H plus squared. For the HA species, the middle species, it's the middle term. So you have the same denominator. And we take the middle term, Ka1, H plus. For the fraction in the dianion form, it's the same denominator. And we use the last term in the denominator for the numerator, and so on. Now, that's very powerful. We can very quickly, given a pH and the activity or the equilibrium constants, we can very quickly calculate the fraction in any given form for that family. Let's do another example, and let's skip over to a family with four protons that are active, and so there would be four separate dissociation steps. We go from H 
4A to HA, and these may or may not have the charges associated with the, them that I'm giving them here, but the same argument applies. So we have one, two, three, four, five species in this family. And if I want to calculate the fraction at any given pH that's in, say, the fully protonated form, I can quickly go to it by starting with the denominator. And it follows the pattern with H plus raised to the power of the number of protons in the family. So it's H plus to the fourth power, then Ka1 times H plus to the third power, plus Ka1, Ka2, H plus to the second power, plus Ka1, Ka2, Ka3 times h plus to the first power, and then just the sum or the product of all the k's. Now, every family member for this group will have the same denominator. We only choose a term for the numerator from one of the terms in the denominator. For the fully protonated member, we start at the left, going one, two, three from the left with our equilibrium uh, reaction scheme. First term in the denominator is numerator for the first family member. So there we have the fraction for the fully protonated form. Let's choose some other term. Let's choose the next to the last member of the family. The fraction in the H3 minus form be the same denominator And it's the next to the last term. So this would be the term Ka1, Ka2, Ka3 times H plus for the numerator. It's a very powerful tool to be able to calculate these fractions at any given pH.